Okay, here we are, St Nicholas Church. It's St like Bartholomew! St <laughs> <So> Nick... <laughs> Outtake. Outtake. Hi guys, once again I'm with Rebecca Bex and we're in Burstow, uh, where we used to live. Yeah. So lots of happy memories. <laughs> and we're going to visit St. Bartholomew's Church, very old church. Yeah. Uh, her old stomping ground. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get some stories out of it. Um, we're actually also on the Sussex border path, uh, so the village must go, or the path goes through the village. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. And we are in. St. Bartholomew's Church. We Got are. it right. So, there's a <laughs> mount takes. Actually, I can't get the church name wrong. I have been here before uh, for a friend's uh, father's funeral. It's a lovely, beautiful church. Straight away. Straight away. Door. <laughs> door. Me and doors. I know. I, can't, I, I don't know me about the old doors. Fantastic. Got snapshots of Smallfield here. Oh, is it free? It just says, please help yourself to a book. Oh, thank you. So the church is open. So we can use the hand sanitizer. Oh, it's here on the wall. There we go. So it's a lovely old church. It's true, um, Max just said. And we do. We all sort of whisper when we're in churches. When we walk into a church, we yeah. put my hat off. Yeah. Oh, how disrespectful. But yeah, it's really weird. I think it's a good out of respect, whether you're religious or not. Yeah. I think it's just a respect thing, which I'm totally, totally for. Yes, yeah, lovely. So there's um, a walled up Saxon doorway. There's some very, very early origins of this church. A lot of the church is now Victorian. It was refurbished in 1884. But I say there's just been a church on this site for years, absolute years. Oh, lovely organs. Hmm. It's a lovely book here uh, that we can pick up, which was free in the porch, and you can look at all some of the old houses from long, long ago, the old photographs, and that's really interesting. Yeah. Snapshots of Smallfield and Burstow. Snapshots of Smallfield and Burstow. Oh, Sarah. interesting door here at the back of the tower very old yes very similar to the one in Newdigate down uh, South Surrey not too far from here now I was always led to believe that the oldest part was on this side that wall looks very that looks yeah I think that probably was a window at some point yeah, yeah. so this brings back happy memories <laughs> yeah, it does actually. I quite like the plain wooden cross plaques yeah. actually. They're very nice. There's a couple of them here. One here, two more. Just plain wooden, yeah, but it's all about these plain wooden crosses. Yeah. In the churchyard, but I don't know if the churchyard goes further down, it doesn't look very big. We'll have a look in a minute. It's nice just uh, walking through the churchyard. Number yeah, apparently there's some wooden grave monuments. Where they are, I don't know, but they're very, very rare apparently. Oh, why do you think they haven't cleaned the top half? So obviously there's been a new burial, but they haven't cleaned the top half, and yet it's husband and wife. That's weird. Also that lichen that's on the top half, yeah. 
It's always sad when you see some gravestones and burials in a real poor state of repair. You know, families, back to saying, families move away and um, they don't get cared for. And it's somebody's memory, so it's uh, quite sad, really. You couldn't find the wooden grave mark monuments. Oops, sorry. What have you found? The wood hair ribbon that's fallen over. Oh, right, here we go. I'm saying that's such a shame. Yeah. All See, this you think could be preserved if it's so. If old. it's apparently so rare, yeah. Yeah. Three tombstones just piled up. Sorry, headstones piled up against this tomb. 1799. 1799. Burstow Court Manor. Bex and I just going to walk down the road to have a look at some of the properties. Got some nice properties here. Yes. Very, very nice. Haunted house on the corner. Haunted house. <laughs> See, I didn't say anything about haunted. Look at me. <laughs> Mr. Paranormal Investigator didn't say anything about that word haunted. Storytelling. But we always felt that they was this one was definitely haunted because weird things where you felt really uneasy. Mm -hmm. I had a friend that lived here and you used to think, mm. every time you went in you got the shivers. Is that the one about the toilet toilet roll? Yeah. So the toilet roll's unraveling by itself apparently. Yeah. Moat End Moat House. Moat End House. Ah, okay. Moat End House. Why what's called Moat? Driving down here. Obviously they've got a gate now, but I I don't know whether that means you can't drive down here. Well, it, could, well, it probably would open for but rangers. And... You'd end up going into Fern Hill if you carried on walking down here. And um, Peaksbrook Lane, I think. Uh-huh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, public footpath. had some friends that lived at the bottom of this lane. Wow. How lovely. Okay. Public footpath. Yeah, we're on the Sussex border path, as I said. Public bridleway. So there you go, just a quick uh, walk around St. Bartholomew's <laughs> Church in Burstow, near uh, Gatwick Airport, near Smallfields, near Hawley. Absolutely lovely. If you're around this way, please pop along. Obviously, you've yeah. discovered, right. rediscovered some childhood stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, if you know any more about this church, please let us know. So I haven't been here for about nine years when I went to a funeral, so there's a dog in the background. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you do say no more about this place, and we'll see you next time. Take care.